Welcome to another Dan the Rabbit Hole video. I'm going to do another Sega CD game. I was kind of hoping to do a, kind of a wrap up of Wing Commander, but that thing is turning to be in quite a harder project than I'd anticipated. So let's do another Sega CD game. This one's really cool. And actually, I've already done a video about the PlayStation 1 version of this, which is, I think, better, or at least because you can use the mouse and it has upgraded graphics. It's, I think, better. This is Starblade, which I played in the arcade back in the day. And this is a faithful, dedicated version of the very polygonal, low-res version that originally came out in the, rest, in the arcades. So I'm going to fire it up here, and we'll just see. I'm thinking with a... Uh, am I starting? No. With a standard... Um, start button. There we go. Uh, ooh, I got different control modes. Hang on. What are my options? Normal, reverse, mm, okay. I guess that's like up is down and down is up, etc. All right. What about, can I change the difficulty? Is there easy? No, of course not. <laughs> All right, we'll go with the, no, we'll go with the normal. Okay, we'll start the game. Um, with a D-pad, this is probably gonna be tricky, but let's give it a whirl. Because this is a... Prepare for Operation Starblade. Primarily, well, it's it's a full motion video, of course, because it's Sega CD. Okay, okay. Anyway, uh, you are basically just aiming and shooting at everything on the screen, which on the PlayStation with the PS1 mouse is much better. But this is much more like the original. I think, didn't the original have a joystick or maybe it even had like a yoke controller? In the arcade? Can't remember, it's been a long time since I played. But here we go. So this is me. And I'm basically just shooting everything. And I think this thing looks really cool. Oh interesting. It's less located enemy flagship commander. It's not filled in polygons. What? It's wireframe. What? Oh, that's a cheat. The original arcade game was at least filled in. Um, what do you call filled in polygon? Or yeah, it's shaded. Okay, it was shaded polygons. These are wireframe. That sucks, man. But you know what? We'll we'll go with it. A very cool looking game. And I actually remember them releasing this for. Oh, this is the asteroids level. Uh, yes. I heard that they actually released this exact game for Wii uh, in Japan. Like it was part of WiiWare. And I thought when I heard that, I was like, oh yeah, this with a pointer, like using the Wii remote, this would be awesome. But uh, they never released it outside of Japan. Maybe there's a way to get it through like the uh, homebrew channel because I have the homebrew channel installed on my Wii. Ooh, I'm gonna die here. Um, yeah, I think this this would have been so cool with the Wii remote on a D-pad. It's a struggle. It's not actually that bad, you know. I think I am managing, but it's sort of you can tell from the from the style of game that it is. You want to be able to point. You want to be able to use either a gun, a yoke, a mouse, anything but a D-pad. This is what I'm stuck with. I've got a D-pad. Entering enemy's defense line. But it's pretty cool. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, we got a little bit of a struggle there. Okay. I wonder why it's wireframe. Limitations of the hardware, I guess. But, I mean, I don't see why that was necessary. You're probably thinking, aren't you taking any damage? Isn't there any downside to this? You see that thing that looks like a green letter C on the right hand, right hand side? This thing over here? Uh, that is my current, yikes, that's my current health. And I believe once you die, you die. Like it's, uh, that's the arcade kind of element of it coming through. You just shoot and shoot and shoot, and then you put in another quarter and you shoot and shoot some more. But as a home port for the PlayStation, uh, PlayStation, well, I guess both PlayStation and for Sega CD, there's only so much they could do. 
There are certain games that just don't translate well to a home experience. Like, if the whole premise of it was to throw coins in all the time, then how do you make a home version where you just hit start again? Like, uh, Gauntlet is one. Uh, Lunar Lander is another one. You know, the only real danger of the game is putting in more coins. And if you can just keep hitting the start button, it's kind of pointless. But... Oh, look at that. I actually destroyed the front of the ship. See? Uh, destructible environments. That's pretty cool. That's what I like about this game. Now, let's see. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I want to hit all the flickery things, but... You know what? It's not too bad with the D-pad. I'm actually very surprised. I didn't think that would have been... When I played this on the PS1 using the mouse, I don't think I got much farther than this. So it'll be an interesting comparison. How much farther do I get on one versus the other? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, now I'm in trouble. Okay, I take it all back. I am not going to do well here. I'm also not thrilled that it's flat poly... Uh, sorry, wireframe. I'm not uh, shaded. That, that's not arcade uh, classic original. I didn't change the graphics, did I? I mean, did I make a, a wrong selection in the options? I don't think so. Hmm. Oh, we have almost no health left, and we are going to die. Sorry for the flicker. Okay, yep. Ah. Okay, well, that's... Uh, I got three credits. Interesting. That's that's the game. Um, obviously, you just continue with your three credits, see how much farther you can get. I'm not going to, but... That was a, a pretty cool experience. That is Starblade, not Alpha, just Starblade, on Sega CD. Hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, we'll see you down the rabbit hole.